Here's what I did. First, I looked at the terms with x in them, which gave 4x plus 3x minus x, which is 6x altogether. And then I considered the other parts, which are both just numbers. Obviously, we can combine these together, and that gives us 7 minus 3, which is 4. Notice how the term or number in the expression takes the sign which is in front of it. So overall, the simplified expression is 6x plus 4. Okay, let's move on now and have a look at how to deal with brackets in algebraic expressions. Here I have a rectangle split into two parts. The length of this part is 5 and this other part is labelled x because we don't know how long it is. The width of the rectangle is 4. Can you write down an expression for the area of this rectangle using the information that we have about its length and width? Press the pause button to give yourself enough time. OK, how did you get on? To find the area of a rectangle, we multiply the length by the width. Here, the width is 4, and the length is given by the expression 5 plus x. So the area of the rectangle would be 4 lots of 5 plus x. How do we write this properly in algebra? We need to show that the 5 plus x part is one expression. If we put brackets around it like this, then we can see it is an expression. Once we have the brackets, we no longer need this multiplication sign here because the brackets automatically mean we multiply by the 4. So the expression for area is now 4 brackets 5 plus x close brackets. We can't actually work out the area of the rectangle, can we? Because we don't know what x equals. So let's leave that for the moment and have another look at the original rectangle. What is the area of this part of the rectangle? Well, it's easy, isn't it? 5 times 4 is 20. So the area of this part is 20 square units. By the way, we say square units for an area when we don't know what the units are. Now, can you give me an expression for the area of this part of the rectangle? The width is 4 units and the length of this section is given by x. So the area must be given by 4 multiplied by x. Remember, in algebra, we write this as 4x. So this section of the rectangle has an area of 4x. So looking at these two sections of the rectangle, another expression for the total area would be 20 plus 4x. Now we have two different expressions for the area of this rectangle. Have a look at these and see what you notice about them. 